Hello everyone, my name is Matthew David, and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to transfer files over ICMP in restricted network environments. As you can see right now, I'm looking at a post on my blog that covers this exact topic. Um, I first go into the background on why this would be potentially useful. I also go over uh, how the process works, and then I get into a demo where I show a couple scripts that I made in order to make this process a lot easier, which is essentially what I'll be showing in this video. Um, so I highly recommend checking out this blog. Um, it gives a lot of good information that I'll also cover in this video, but it's good to sometimes have it written down so you can go back to it and see it a bit easier. Uh, but without further ado, I'm going to go to the GitHub project where I have the scripts that I made uh, to help facilitate this process. It's called ICMP Transfer Tools, and I'm going to click the code button and copy the link we need to clone this repo. I'm going to go into a terminal that is on a public facing Linux uh, DigitalOcean VPS, and I'm just going to clone the repository in the home directory and then CD into it. And here we can see we have the files that we need. For this demo, I'll be using my Windows 10 host PC as the target or client that I'll be downloading files to and uploading files from. And I'll be using this uh, Linux DigitalOcean VPS as the server that will host the files in order to download them on our client and also receive the files that our client will be uploading. So as stated in the readme for this tool on GitHub, these scripts are broken up into pairs of two for both downloading and uploading files. There is one Python script and one PowerShell script for each. We're first gonna be demonstrating downloading files. So the applicable scripts are this ICMP sendfile.py script, which is used to host the file that we wanna download and send it over to our client. And the second script is the invoke ICMP download.ps1 script, which will run on the client in order to reach out to our server and download the file. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is somehow get this PowerShell script onto our client uh, computer that we'll be using to transfer the file over ICMP. Now, as this tool is needed in order to download files to our Windows system, there's really no way that we can transfer it, especially given the fact that we're simulating ourselves being stuck in a restricted network environment. So what I've done, if I cat this uh, script that's used to download uh, to the system, we can see that it's fairly small. It's only about 30, 35 lines of code. Um, so in a real world situation, you would probably have to type this out into Notepad or PowerShell ISE and then just save it to the system as there's really no other way to transfer this initial file onto the system, like I said. Um, but for this demo, we're just going to copy and paste it as I'm not gonna bore you by typing it all out. Um, but we can open up something like PowerShell ISE and just paste it in there. Like I said, it's only 35 lines of code, so it wouldn't be too bad to type out in a real world situation. Um, and then we're going to make a directory called demo that we're going to save this into. And then we're just going to click file, save as. I'm in the demo folder, and I'm going to save this as invoke ICMP download dot PS1. Click save, and now we can go to our terminal, go into our demo folder, and we see that we have our PowerShell script saved and ready to be used. So now that we have our PowerShell client downloaded to the target computer ready to be used, we can go back to our Linux server and check out the Python script that we'll use in order to host the file that we want to download over ICMP and that will be the ICMP sendfile.py script, and we can run it just to see the parameters it needs. And you can check out the positional arguments right here, which state that we need the public IP address of the current host, we need the public IP address of the destination host, and then of course we need the file that we wanna transfer over ICMP. So first we can get the public IP address of our current host rather easily, by just going to our terminal and typing in ifconfig, which will give us our network interfaces. And we can see on my first interface, I have the public IP address of my server. 
So I can just copy that and put it into a notepad for later use. And now we'll need to get the public IP address of our destination host, which will be a little bit more tricky as we are in a restricted network environment or at least simulating one. Um, so we can't just open up a web browser and go to a website that would show us our IP address as that would be blocked. So because we theoretically have ICMP outbound access, that's what we'll be using in order to get our client's IP address. So to do that, we can go to our Linux terminal and type the TCP dump command and give it the ICMP argument so that it listens for all ICMP requests that uh, come to our server. So if we hit enter, we can see we're listening. And now we can simply go over to our client and ping our server. We'll just send one ping over because that's all we need. And we'll give it the IP address of our server. We'll hit enter. And then we'll go back to our server and see that we got one ping from this host name, which is our Windows client. And we can simply do a quick NS lookup uh, with that host name in order to see what our client's public IP address is. So we can save that to our notepad, the same thing as we did before. And now we can use it with the send file script in order to um, transfer the file that we want over ICMP. So for this demo, the first file that I'm going to be transferring over to the Windows 10 PC is a tool called Seatbelt. And Seatbelt, if you're unfamiliar with it, is a tool that allows you to enumerate a Windows host and Windows network. And it provides some helpful information that you could use later in your penetration test um, to potentially evade antivirus uh, or find useful files on the system and just have a general idea of what's implemented on the computer and the network. So to do that, I'm first going to go into a directory I have on my computer for NIMPACT. And if you're unfamiliar with NIMPACT, I talk about it a bit in my blog. It's a public PE packer uh, that was recently released and it's really helpful in evading antivirus software uh, so that your tools uh, don't get detected. So I highly recommend checking that out. But I'm going to go into that output folder and find our seatbelt file right there and copy it to our current directory. And now that I have it ready to go, I can start our send file script with all of the arguments that we need in order to host the file and then download it using our client. So we'll type in the ICMP send file.py uh, script. We'll first give it our uh, Linux server's public IP address. We'll then give it our Windows PC client's public IP address. And then we'll give it the file that we want to download, which is seatbelt.exe. So I'll hit enter. And then the uh, Python script will give us the exact PowerShell command that we need to run after importing our PowerShell client. So we can copy that and then go back to our PowerShell uh, terminal on our client computer. And we can import our script like so. And then we can run the command that was given to us and hit enter. And you can see it connects out to our Linux server and the server says transferring file to target, please wait. Our client says downloading file, please wait should take about 10, 15 seconds, depending on what file you're downloading and how big it is. But you can see that we have completed the transfer. And if we now look in our folder, you can see that we do have seatbelt.exe ready to go. And we can run it to see that it is indeed working and that the file transfer was successful. So now that we've demonstrated how to download files to a system using the ICMP transfer tool scripts, I'm going to simulate a situation in which we might want to upload a file off of our Windows 10 computer to our Linux server for further processing. And to do that, I'm first going to generate some output using the seatbelt tool. And I'll be running the group remote command and then saving that uh, output to a file called out.txt. So if I run that real quick, you can see Nimpact does some stuff to help evade the antivirus, which is great. And after a few seconds, you'll see if we look at the files in our current directory, we now have the out.txt file that we'll want to exfiltrate back to our Linux server. 
So to exfiltrate our file back to our Linux server, we're first going to need to download the PowerShell script that's capable of uploading files over ICMP. And to do that, it's pretty easy. We can just go back to our Linux server and look at our files. And this invoke ICMP upload.ps1 script is the one that we'll need to download to our Windows 10 PC. And that's pretty easy. We can just do the same thing we did before where we run ICMP sendfile.py, except this time we can specify the upload script that we need, like so, and we can hit enter. This again gives us the exact command that we need to run. So we can just copy that and go back to our terminal and then run it. And that transferred really quick because the file is pretty small. But now you can see we have the invoke ICMP upload script ready to be used so that we can transfer our file. The last thing that we'll need to do in order to transfer our file back to our Linux server will be to set up the Python handler that will receive the file once it's sent to our server. So to do that, we can go back to our Linux server and we can list the files again, and we'll see that the ICMP receive file.py script is here, and that's the script that we'll need in order to receive our file. So we can run it real quick, and we can see the usage for it. Um, you just need the public IP address of the client, and then you need the file that you're going to write the data to. So to do that, it's pretty easy. We already know um, that we have the public IP address of our client from earlier. So we can get that from our notepad and just copy and paste that into the arguments for our tool. And then we'll just save this file as out.txt as that's what it's saved to on the system. And we can just run it like so. And you can see that our server is ready and listening for requests. And now we have to use the ICMP Excel client this will not give you the exact command you need to run, so we will have to type that in manually, but that's not too bad. We can just go back to our PowerShell client and we can uh, import the script like so. And then once we've done that, we can put the invoke ICMP upload function call ready to go. And then we can go back to our notepad and give it the uh, IP address of our server, because that's where it will send the file to. And then we can give it the file name like so, and then hit enter. And you'll see we got a connection from our client and it saved the bytes to a file and the file transfer has completed. So now we can go back to our Linux server and we can look at the file and we can see we have our seatbelt output and it was transferred to the system uh, without any issue. So that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Just to recap, I demonstrated how to download and upload files over ICMP using the ICMP transfer tools repository that I just recently posted to GitHub. So I definitely recommend checking that out. Um, and I also recommend checking out the blog post that I made uh, for this topic. Link will also be in the description. So thanks again, and there will be more content coming soon, so definitely stay tuned. Thanks so much.